So in this video, we are going to learn how to send Discord channel messages for new Notion database item. Now suppose guys, you and your team members use Notion to maintain or create all kind of record and details. And all of you communicate on your Discord channel. Now you want that whenever a new item, a new detail is added in Notion database, you want to update your team members on Discord with the details of newly updated item in Notion. So let me tell you, you can actually automate this complete process of updating team members on Discord. So the trigger of this automation will be creating a new item in Notion. An action will be sending the same newly created item details, newly added data details as a channel message on our Discord channel. Now how you can set up this automation? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, this is my Notion database named as upcoming events. And in this database, I create new items where I enter the details of the upcoming events over here in this table. And I want that whenever I add the details of a new event, I create a new item in Notion database, automatically the details of that new item should be shared as a message on my Discord channel and it should update my team members. Now here guys, for this, we have to connect our Notion database with Discord, but they don't have any native integration, any direct connection between them. So in this video, we are going to use Public Connect, which is the automation and integration platform. And using Public Connect, we are going to set up the automation between Notion and Discord. So as you can see, here we are on Public Connect's dashboard right now. And to reach this dashboard, you will get a free sign up link of Public Connect in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free Public Connect account in just two minutes. And after reaching to this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as Notion to Discord and then just click on create. Now you can see that a workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. So the idea here is, first we have to connect our Notion database with Public Connect so that every time a new item is created in Notion, we get the details of that newly created item inside our Public Connect workflow. And after that, using Public Connect, we are going to send those new item details to our Discord channel as a message. So here in trigger window, in choose app, search for Notion. Just select it. And then in trigger event from the drop down, select new database item as the trigger event. Click on connect and select add new connection. Now here guys, we have to connect our Notion account with Public Connect. And to make this connection, click on this connect with Notion button. Now because we have already logged into our Notion account in our browser, here you can see that Public Connect has detected the same account. And it is asking us for the authorization permission. Click on this select page button. And then here you can see a list of all the database which we have created, all the pages which we have created in our Notion database can be seen over here. Now at this section, you have to select that the access of which page you want to give to Public Connect. Here, if you want, you can select all the pages or you can select a specific page for which you are setting up this automation. Right now, let's select all the pages over here. Just scroll down and click on allow access. And after clicking on allow access, here you can see that our Notion account will get connected with Public Connect. After making this connection, the only thing it asks us is the database ID. And in the drop down below, here you can see a list of all the database which we have created in our Notion account can be seen over here. So general reading list and upcoming events. These are the three databases which I have created in my Notion account, general reading list and upcoming events. Now we want to capture the new items from this database named as upcoming events. So here from this drop down, we are going to select this ID, this database over here, that is upcoming events. Now after selecting it, here you can see a button of save and send test request. When we will click on this save and send test request button, the details of the most recent, the latest item which we have created in Notion will be captured inside Public Connect. So right now in this database, we have created this event, we have added the details of this event, this item. 
where the event name is developers conference the details is this this is the start date and this is the end date and this is the guest so i have added these columns i have created this table of data and i have created this item over here in notion now, when we will click on save and send test request, the details of the same item will be received inside Pavli Connect. So let's see. Just click on save and send test request. And yes, guys, here you can see that after clicking on save and send test request, we have received some response over here. And in this response, you can see the details of the same item over here. When we will scroll down, here you can see the response of start date, and this is the same start date which we have entered. 3rd of February 2023. Then we will scroll down further and we will see some other details regarding it. Here you can see the response for that event name that is developers conference, the same event name. Then we will scroll down further. Here you will see some other details like we can see the end date over here that is 6th of February 2023. Here you can see the same date. We will scroll down further and here you can see the description as well. So we have added these details. We have created a column where we have added details and the same details can be seen over here. Now after this, just scroll down and here you can see the details, other details as well. Like you can see the name of the user to whom we have invited as the guest. So let me show you the name. Okay, so here you can see the guest name, the response for guest. This means the details of a new item which we have created in Notion is now successfully captured inside Pavli Connect workflow. So step one of setting up this automation is completed. Now let's move to step two. And in step two, we have to send these same details in our Discord channel as a channel message. So to do this, just scroll down, come to our action window, and here in Choose App, search for Discord. Just select it. And then in Action Event from the drop down, select the Action Event as Send Channel Message. Just select it. Click on Connect. Now after clicking on Connect, the first thing it asks us is the webhook URL. Now here to connect our Discord channel with Pavli Connect, first we have to create a webhook URL in our Discord account on our Discord server for that particular channel on which we want to send the messages. And then after creating that URL, you have to copy that URL from there and paste it over here. Now you must be thinking how you can create this webhook URL. So to create it, just go to your Discord server like I have this Discord server named as Pavli Team. After opening your Discord server, on the right top corner, here you can see this down arrow, click on it and go to server settings. After coming to the server settings page, here on the left side, you can see integrations, click on integrations and go to webhooks. Now here at this webhooks page, click on new webhook over here and you will see a new webhook URL is just now created. Just click on it, give this webhook URL a name, for example, notion items. So this is the name I have given to this webhook URL. And then it is asking us to select the channel that using this webhook URL on what channel we want to send the message. So from the drop down here, you can see a list of all the channels which I have created over here, out of which I want to send the messages on this channel named as Notion items. So I will be selecting this channel over here. Then just click on this copy webhook URL button and click on save changes. And as we click on save changes, here you will see that this new webhook URL is created in Discord and we have also copied the webhook URL. Now just go back to Public Connect and paste the same webhook URL over here. After pasting the webhook URL, the next thing it asks us is the message. That what is the message which we want to send? So here you have to basically drop the message. You can drop any message according to your requirement. I want my message to be, hello team. Okay, so this is the kind of message which I want to send. The message says, Hello team, we have a new upcoming event. Event details are as followed. And here I have created the fields for all the event details which I want to share. The same details we have, which we have added in Notion. Now here guys, in front of event name, I wanted to mention the name of the event, the item, the response which we have received of the event from Notion. So here guys, from Notion, we have received this name of the event response as you can see over here. Here it is. And from this response, we have to basically map this exact same response over here in this field of message in front of event name. And guys, the process of mapping is very simple. Just click on this message section and add your cursor in front of this event name. And then here in the drop down, you can see a list of all the responses which we have received from Notion. And out of all of these responses, select the response of name of the event. Here it is, event name, and it will be mapped. 
So whatever data we are going to enter in this event name section while creating a new item or new data in Notion, the same data will be received inside Public Connect and the same data or the same text will be added over here in this Discord channel message. Now after this, after entering the event name, let's enter the event start date. So just click here and from the drop down, select this response of start date. Follow the same process of mapping from for other details as well. So let's select the end date where it is. This is it, the end date. Then match the description. So from the drop down, select the response of description as well. This is details. And then the name of the guest which we have received. So this is the response of guest. Just select it and it will be mapped over here. So in this way, we just took an example right now that we are adding some event details in Notion and we want to send a message on our Discord channel with the event details. But instead of this, you can basically create your Notion database for anything you want according to your requirement, according to your use. And using the same automation, you can get the details of new items inside Public Connect workflow. And in this way, by mapping the details in this message section, you can send that same details to your Discord channel as a channel message. After drafting the message of your requirement and mapping all the details, the next thing it asks us is the bot name and bot icon. So guys, on our Discord channel, using a bot, we are going to send these messages. Now guys, you can actually change the name of the bot and also the display picture, the icon of the bot. For example, I would like to name my bot as Notion. This is the name which I'm giving to my Discord bot who's going to share the message on my Discord channel. And the next thing it asks us is the bot icon. Now here, if you want, you can also change the icon as I told you. You just have to enter the URL, the link of the image which you want to set up as the bot icon over here in this bot icon field. Right now, I'm just ignoring this field for now because it's not a mandatory, it's not a required field over here. At last, it is asking us text to speech. So I don't want to enable text to speech. So I'll be selecting disable over here and click on save and send test request. After clicking on save and send test request, here you can see that we have received a response. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the message which we have created over here has been sent on our Discord channel. So let's check our Discord channel. We will go to Discord. And yes, guys, here you can see that the same Discord channel, Notion items, for which we have created a webhook URL, on the same Discord channel, a message has been sent over here. The message says, hello team, we have a new upcoming event. Event details are as followed. Event name, developers conference, event start date, 3rd of February, 2023. Event end date, 26th of February, 2023. Event description, we will be having developers conference with all the new and old developers. And guest is demo user. The same details of the item which we have created in Notion, the exact same details are now shared as a channel message on our Discord channel. And this message is shared by a bot named as Notion. Same bot name, which we have entered over here in Public Connect. Now this means guys, the automation workflow which we have created between Notion and Discord using Public Connect is working perfectly fine. And using this automation guys, whenever a new item will be created in Notion, automatically within eight hours, the same item details will be shared on our Discord channel as a channel message. Now here you must be thinking why it takes eight hours to share the messages from Notion to Discord. So the connection between Notion and Public Connect is a polling based connection. And in this type of connection, as you can see over here, this trigger will check for new data. Public Connect will check for new data, new items every eight hours on our Notion database. Then every eight hours, it will get the details of all the new items which we have created. It will take those details and bring to Public Connect and this automation workflow will be triggered. It will start and start sending those details on our Discord channel as a channel message. So here guys, every eight hours, you can basically up get updates on your Discord channel from Notion database of the item which you have created. So not just these applications, you can connect plenty of other applications using Public Connect. And one more important thing, you will find the clone link of the same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can actually clone the same workflow into your own Public Connect account and use this workflow for free. Also, let me tell you, Public Connect offers you a free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Public Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely free. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can post them on forum.pavli.com. So if this video was helpful to you, 
you can obviously like this video comment out your suggestion and don't forget to share it with others so guys that's it for today's video thank you have a great day